and welcome back i hope you guys having a wonderful thursday afternoon uh it's about one o'clock on thursday so uh if you're new to the channel uh welcome to our daily live streaming and so this uh every thursday in past uh we've been uh i was playing with my old lap bunny pro right here but last three weeks we've been playing with the rock express machines okay so we're gonna play with the rock for next Hopefully next couple of months trying to figure out how to use properly. So, so this is our third week. Uh, first two weeks, you know what? It was pretty ugly. Okay. If you have time, if you haven't seen it yet, go back and check it out. It's, it's pretty bad. So hopefully we're going to get it right this time. Okay. If not, we're going to try again next week, but I'm going to big shout out to Patrick uh, at Rag Espresso. Patrick, you are watching. Thank you for sending us to try on our channel here so uh i have both grinder and machine okay so ideally you want to use you know more uh actual espresso grinder so this one is not too bad okay so right now i'm at number two click okay so i got one uh i have only one spot to go so comes to grinder setting this is somewhat limited okay somewhat limited but uh, we'll see how it goes uh, this afternoon. So what else? So we have the Rock Espresso. And then I'm using the, my fellow uh, stack kettle over there. I set a maximum, okay? Maximum is 100, and, uh, 100 Celsius degree. So that's boiling temperature. So uh, you, if you are new to the manual espresso machine, it's all about the managing the heat. It's all about thermal management. So, uh, you know, uh, we are going to make some coffee this afternoon. Okay. Uh, Brian asked me, did you figure out the rocket? Let's find out. Okay, so I'm using the 16 gram. Okay, 16 gram of uh, coffee beans from India. What else? Pretty much it. So let's get going. I'm, go I'm going to change the angle of my camera so you guys can see it better. Hold on a second here. Here we go. Hopefully, we're going to figure it out today. Okay. Hopefully, so I'm using a 16 gram, but meantime, I'm going to heat up the water chamber and porter filter as well. So, and also my shot glass too. What I like to do is I'm just going to put the cup in there like so. And we're just going to heat up our water chamber. And then let's do this. I'm just going to go like this. I'm just going to put it up there for now, like so. Okay, until everything is all heat up nicely. But meantime, let's grind some coffee beans. Again, I'm using the 16 gram. Uh, with this grinder, you want to use the RDT method, okay? RDT means uh, Ross Dropley Technique. So, I'm just going to wet my finger here. I'm just going to wet it and just go through your coffee grinds like that. And then let's grind some coffee. Uh, what I like to do is I like to put my hand over there inside like so, so I, it doesn't have popcorn. Okay. So this is a lot, even though it's a hand grinder, the length of the arm makes it a lot easier to grind the coffee beans. Okay, we are all done here. I, I like to just tap it like, just makes all the coffee grinds up. So it's not too bad. I got some coffee grinds on the bottom, but it's not too bad at all. I'm just gonna, okay, that's good. Set to the side. There's no a lot of static there, so. So this one is a, 50 actually this is more like 40 more like 49 to 50 millimeter so i do have my temper but 
comes to dosing, I don't have an exact dosing funnel, so I'm using my homemade dosing funnel. Check this, I'm just going to simply transfer to my little cup here. Okay. Like so. And then I like to just use my WDT tool to clump a little bit, okay, for now. Okay, I think so. Our uh, coffee grind is ready to go. All right. So here's the fun part. Okay. So let's pull the shot. Okay. Let's prepare the puck. Just like so. Okay, so last couple of weeks, man, it was really, we're having a hard time dialing in. So hopefully we're going to do a better job this time. I'm just going to shake it. Like so. It's pretty good. Okay. You know what? I think I'm going to use my puck rake. I have my homemade puck rake here. I'm just going to distribute it a little better. Okay. I think we are good to go. I'm just going to tap it. And then let's tap, tap. Again, uh, just to be consistent. It doesn't need to be 30 pounds of pressure, just to be consistent. So now we're perfectly manicure puck there. I'm just going to polish one more time. All right, let's give it a try. Okay, this big moment right here. I'm going to lock it in to R. Okay. So about 15, this is about 16 grams. So I'm going to do like one to two ratio. So about 16, uh, 16 grams in like 32 grams out. I'm just going to have something to put it down for my scale. Okay. There we go. Okay, let's give it a try. Hopefully you guys can see it. All right, here I go. So water is boiling right now. Let's put some water on the top. I put the water all the way up, okay, maybe about very close to the edge. There we go. And then now we're going to do some pre-infusion here. Just going to put the all, all the way up for arms. I'm going to wait about maybe about 5 to 10 seconds. And they start giving uh, pre-infusion. Hopefully you guys can see it. Okay, let's do some lightly pressure. I'm shooting for again or one thirty. There we go. About 36 gram. So this time is a lot better than last couple weeks. Okay. Not too bad. Okay. Not too bad at all, guys. We have some good crema on the top. But I feel like, I, I bet you we can do a little more. Okay, a little bit more extraction, but overall, a lot better. Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm just going to squeeze out all the water here. There we go. I'm just going to squeeze out the rest of the water. Okay, let's try this shot. Let's try this. 
I'm, I'm definitely much happier than last couple of weeks for sure. Okay, let's hold on. Let's take a look. But again, it's all about the managing the, the thermal, the heat. So you, you have some really nice crema on the top. So let's try this. Cheers. Okay, here we go. It's not bad, okay? I think if you want to like really high quality espresso, you gotta heat up the, the water chamber even more, okay? You have to really manage the heat. You wanna go hot as possible, so. You know what, in this case, I'm gonna make myself Americano because Americano makes everything better. Just gonna put some hot water on the top. At uh, some point, I'm gonna do the full review on the fellow stack. I know some of you have one and I know you guys have been using it for a long time. So I mean, let me share with you my thoughts on that as well. I'm just going to try this. By the way, I, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Thursday, okay? Make sure to press like on the, this video right now. Cheers. Yeah, much better, okay? Much better. So. I bet you if I go with some kind of milk-based drink like ice latte or some kind of latte, any kind of milk-based drink, so that one should be sufficient. But again, if you guys want the real fantastic espresso, yeah, you gotta make, you need to walk on the, the thermal management. Just make sure, flush it two or three times. So you, you gotta really make the, uh, the components hot. So that is the key. That is a little tricky, but again, that's the one downside of the manual machine. I know, uh, let's see, the OE1, the Odyssey one, it just came out. That one has the, uh, all the, the PID built in. You can actually control the, the temperature on those machines, like Flare 58, the newer one. Also, it has a built-in, the heating element as well. But I mean, like Lapuboni, obviously, I mean, that's pretty much, a man, it comes to temperature control, there's no temperature control on Lapaboni. So you gotta, you have to do the temperature surfing. So that's also a little tricky machine too, but so far so good. Okay. So far I'm pretty happy with the rock so far. I know, let's see here. Uh, I saw some question earlier. Uh, the at EDW, let's see, get the best out of, Hold on. Push now until the first drop comes, then pre -inf Okay, I got you. Okay, interesting. I'm gonna try that next week, okay? So you're gonna push until first drop, and then you're gonna what? You're gonna wait? Then, okay, that's fine. It's pre okay, that's fine, yep. Good. So I think it's the grinder setting. I think I have a one more click to go. Uh, the built-in, uh, so this menu grinder here, so. Definitely, I'm gonna uh, go to the finest and see, okay? And check it out. What else? We got we got the Justin. Yep, 10 seconds, okay, good. So we're gonna do that next time. But I think we are getting very close. Okay, hopefully by next week, we, we are going to put some really good shot. And then let's try that with, uh, next week, uh, let's try with the bottomless pore filter, okay? So let's try with the bottomless pore filter. See, they are working. Okay, so MK asks, what is the best time for one to two ratio without the pre-infusion? You know what? Comes to manual machine, I mean, you have to just play with, but with your semi-automatic machine, I mean, the specialty coffee association say what? Between 25 and 30 seconds. But I mean, that's all debatable. So, you know what? Just just play with it. Make sure get you get your own recipe, okay? Get you your own recipe. Hold on. Let's see, yeah. Okay, here we go. So, EDW say, yes, fine. Finance the rock, the press always get through, okay? Flare is less forgiving. Rock is bulletproof. So far, rock has been, but 
because I'm comparing uh, Rock with my uh, home machine, I, I'm compared to like Bravo Barista Express or Pro. So I need to change my expectation. So, so tomorrow Friday we are going to play with the flare tomorrow. So let me, I don't know if you are around. Let me, so far I prefer the flare over Rock because because I know how to use flare. But who knows? In about uh, next couple of weeks, next couple of months, if I get to learn more about this, maybe I may change my mind. So. Okay, we got Eric just joining us too. Let's see, we got Eric. Who's on? Let's take a look, guys. We got Eric, EDW, Proven, MK, Hans, Brian. We got Dylan's on, Daniel. Uh, that's great, guys. I, I hope you guys are having a great Thursday. Okay. And then what else? Uh, tomorrow morning, uh, let's play with this one machine from uh, goodness, what was the name of that machine? It's called Imus. Okay, that's the one machine from China. Let's pull the shot with that. Okay, hold on a second. And uh, Justin asked me about. Uh, I, I do have a website. Okay, I do have a website. Actually, my I have a pretty good website name, uh, Hoons.com. Okay, five letter words. I got my domain name about in nineties. But yeah, I'm using that. But it's uh, empty right now. But some point okay some point merchandise you know I, i'm not sure okay it's not not yet but more, even nice okay okay what else i think it's good so this is pretty good so what do you guys think about the rock so far you guys you guys are I mean, somewhat interested or let me know in the comment section as well okay there's so many machines out there but even there's so many, there's only a handful. Okay, we have a rock, we have flare, we have a robot. Uh, what else is out there? We have the various manual machine like Nanopresso or other machines, but comes to the legit uh, machines. I don't know. It's, it'd be, yeah, uh, Proven asked me flare versus rock at this, at this moment right now. Okay, right this moment. The flare, but if I'm gonna learn more about the rock next few months, so it might be, I don't know, because the reason why I like this comes with pore filter. Okay, the flare does not, unless you're gonna go with flare 58. So I really like having this. Okay, I really like having this as well. Okay, let's see what else you got. Uh, Dylan mentioned about the, so Dylan is actually making t-shirt now he he owns a t-shirt machine at home so I know he's been busy making t-shirts but Dylan you are going back to work soon so you gotta find the time to make that t-shirt I think we are pretty good so far I hope you guys are having a wonderful Thursday afternoon and then uh, again uh, this weekend is a big one we're gonna compare a built-in grinder and then we have my uh, niche grinder over there. So we're gonna uh, compare with a built-in grinder, niche, and DF64, okay? We're gonna use that with, uh, we're gonna use that with a uh, Krip sifter, okay? So let's find out which one gives you the most uniform coffee grinds. I don't know about taste, but at least give you the, you know, which one gives a better uniformity, okay? It's gonna be a lot of fun to compare. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great day and see you guys tomorrow.